Hello guys, in this video we are going to take a closer look and upgrade the hard drive in this uh, Lenovo Think Center Edge 72. I got this pretty cheap from eBay, it is 100% working. It uh, came uh, with a 500 gigabytes hard drive, Pentium G2020 at 2.9 GHz CPU and 4 gigs of RAM and it's in a really good shape. So hopefully I can uh, take off the case uh, real quick here. Really nice screws. You just pull on this and then lift it. put it away okay the CPU cooler here oh, here we have I think some sort of uh, serial or parallel port to lift this you first need uh, to take off the front plate A little bit stuck this time. A little bit more. I really like this uh, when you are trying to film something, it never goes easy. Yeah, I'm going to be back in a right. second. I've learned not to pull too hard on plastic because it does break or at least cracks. Uh, so this doesn't want to come off if you are over a surface, you need to be able to angle it a little bit more, so you have to be outside of the surface that the PC is staying on. I don't really know why this is happening, but uh, yeah, anyway. And then this you can lift up and it has uh, a ledge here on the side. And after that it is secure. You have the hard drive here, optical drive, memory and the place to upgrade your graphics card. So yeah, pretty nice. First I'm going to undo these uh, four, uh, four screws and upgrade the hard drive and then we will continue the tour. But this is pretty easy to work on and I really really like it. Old hard drive out new hard drive ready to go in it's uh, pretty simple you plug in the cables it has some rests down there put it on the rests move it until you have the holes aligned something like this you can see they are moving uh, and tighten everything back together and that's about it so that's what I'm going to do now Okay, moved this bracket out of the way so uh, GPU upgrade is easier to do in the future. That would uh, go under the GPU here, this cable. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have uh, more memory to add at this moment, but you could add uh, 4 more gigabytes extremely easily. Pull this apart, insert the memory click it in place and this if they don't co uh, close by themselves you close them at the end, the end but they should close by themselves so yeah make sure everything is plugged in because sometimes in shipping they move a little bit around and that's about it as for a graphics card you can use something like this it doesn't have to have any other power connectors, it will rely just on the PCI Express slot for power. That means it is under 75 watts and the height of this bracket uh, does not uh, have to be like this one. It has to be a little bit shorter, just up, up until here. This is too long, so it doesn't have to have this part here. Uh, that means a low profile graphics card basically, pretty easy, under 75 watts like I said, because this power supply is pretty weak, and you basically just uh, remove this, put it in, and you are done. 
it can even be dual slot. There are dual slot uh, low profile cards. It has enough room, it doesn't bother anything here, so it's awesome. I'm not going to put this one in because from what I remember this is really low power, probably even less powerful than uh, the one in the CPU. So this is just as an example. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to close it now. To close it you just uh, push on this here. You have a dot there. Push on the dot, starts going in. It's closed. Then you put the front in. Hopefully I managed to do it with one hand, although I don't, don't think so. Nope. Most likely I won't be able to do it with one hand. And I'm out of breath, I don't have any idea why. So I'll be back in a moment. Just before closing it, I noticed this and I think it's a temperature sensor for the outside there. Of course, card reader, USB, audio, DVD writer, pretty good. So let's close it now. Just noticed that uh, these were damaged during shipping, so I super glued them all in place and I'm waiting for the super glue to dry to remove these uh, white marks uh, that it uh, leaves behind when it dries. Not 100% uh, like I would have liked it to look, but uh, yeah, they were, <laughs> were quite broken. I don't know how this happened, but yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully in the end it will look decent. Anyway, it's a pretty small area if you look at the whole thing, so yeah. Okay, this thing powered on without any issues. Enter the BIOS using F1 key. Let's see what we have here in the BIOS. gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, the hard drive, DVD writer and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, at this point I'm going to set the BIOS uh, the way I like it and start installing uh, Windows 8. Hopefully that goes well. This is how uh, Two terabytes empty hard drive looks like pretty nice and of course I have to do the calculation I think I will do one 200 or actually 240 gigabytes partition and one with the rest probably we will see and based on the noise you can see that I'm installing Windows from the optical drive just to remember how it used to be before uh, USB drives appeared on the market. This is the noise of an optical drive working hard. Setup finished. <laughs> I forgot how things look in uh, Windows 8. I'm really curious about the resolution what the hell is resolution here that's correct resolution for my monitor the minimum one weird really weird so yeah i'm going to set up this the way i want it install some programs and that should be about it okay this little thing is running absolutely beautifully and everything uh, is set up the way I like it. As you can see Windows 8 activated by itself without any issues. All drivers uh, installed by themselves. Themselves, sorry. So yeah, this is pretty good. But I hate that we don't have the start button. So uh, I finished everything here. And I'm going to upgrade to Windows 10. You can still upgrade 
at this point in September 2016 with uh, assistive technologies. You go to this page. I'm going to make a separate video for upgrading to Windows 10 on this computer and you can still upgrade. So yeah, next in this video will be with Windows 10 fully installed and hopefully working uh, well. Okay guys, Windows uh, 10 finished installing, all the drivers installed by themselves, uh, probably the ones from Windows 7, uh, 8, sorry, not 7, not really sure, but yeah, it went really smooth and really fast, so I'm quite happy about this, so yeah, the PC is cleaned, looks really good if I could stop bumping the camera that would be awesome so I really like this PC it looks nice it's pretty small and it uh, is decently fast with a good graphics card it would be really awesome maybe with uh, 8 gigabytes of memory perfect so yeah this has been it for the video, uh, ask me whatever you want in the comments, subscribe, like the video, check out my other videos and see you again in the next one. Bye!